Well, 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 Lisa has just completed the impossible. Winning a VMA as a solo artist seems like trying to find a needle in a K-pop haystack, but here we are. Who knew the VMAs had enough space for a solo K-pop artist? Did they even have a category for best soloist who makes everyone else look like a rookie? Because if they did, Lisa would definitely be the reigning queen. Talk about a win for the ages, right? Let's take a moment to appreciate the glamorous trophy that Lisa probably adds to her collection of shiny things. You know, the ones that make her room look like a museum of success. Nothing screams, I've made it, like having a VMA trophy sitting next to your, next to your other trophies that are just jealous they can't flex like her. I mean, who would blame them? She is probably giving them motivational speeches every morning, like, come on, you can do it, while they just sit there collecting dust. And the crowd, oh, the wild, chaotic energy of a VMA crowd. You could practically feel their collective shock when they announced her name. Out of all the hopeful nominees who were secretly auditioning for America's Next Top Artist, Lisa veered left like a pro. People were probably frantically Googling, wait, who's this Lisa girl and why is she stealing all our trophies? Someone must have told them K-pop is the new king of all music genres. Sorry, but not sorry. Now the extreme and utterly philosophical question arises. What does this mean for future K-pop soloists? Are we on the brink of a K-pop solo explosion that'll take over all award shows? Will they change the VMAs to the VMA Video Music Awards K-pop? Or perhaps create a whole new category dedicated to artists you didn't know were solo before today? I'm here for it. I really am. Talk about breaking barriers and creating chaos. The real winner here is the internet though. The memes, the tweets, the fan edits, and the countless reaction videos screaming, who is she? It's beautiful. Lisa is now officially the center of memes, gifs, and fan art. Did you think your social media feed could survive this onslaught of talent, sass, and well, pure domination? The internet isn't ready, or maybe it's been over ready since the day she decided to step into the limelight as a soloist. Hello, run for your lives. As her followers rise like bread in the oven, could we expect her to drop a motivational book on K-pop fame? Like how to win awards and rule the world, perhaps? If that doesn't sell, I don't know what will. Honestly, I just picture a back cover with Lisa's sassy pose and quotes, in a world full of chaos and ordinary music, be a Lisa. It's the self-help book we didn't know we needed, and she probably wrote it during her coffee breaks between rehearsals. So in the spirit of mesh caps wearing, fangirling, and everything fabulous about K-pop, let's take a moment to reflect. With Lisa's groundbreaking win, does this mean we all need to step up our game now? What are your thoughts, audience? Are you ready for the K-pop reign to continue and possibly take over the whole award show calendar? Or are you just here for the drama and epic hairstyles? Let's hear it. Like and subscribe, please.